Ladies and gentlemen, Dimwango left Jamaica to Cayman Islands. Guys, to be specific, in that kind of the first vlog that Dimwango and back to this morning really shows you or and it gives you an abstract or a synopsis how Cayman Island looks like. Well, in this video today, we are going to find seven little known facts about Cayman Islands. And we are going to elaborate on them basing our, our argument on Dimwango's vlog plus other small videos that I'm going to showcase into this deliberation going forward. So guys, keep on watching and subscribe. I just heard Dimwango asking that where are people? He, hmm? he, he, can, he had least, she had least his people around. To answer that question, it simply means Cayman's Island. This is an island that is uh, sparsely populated. A population that is not too much. And basically, it's a place or it's a destination whereby people go and rest. And people looking for money as well. Are you there? So that one answers Dimwango. But the more genuine answer and the refined one 
we are going to find it at the progression progression stages of this video so stay learn over here keep it put so that we'll address that fact going forward but the question is what are the seven little facts that Cayman's island is known of so in this video we are going to reveal those seven little facts that Cayman island is known for kindly enjoy the video number one Cayman and Jamaica were governed as a single British colony until 1962 when the Cayman Islands became designated a British overseas territory one of the 14 territories under the sovereignty of the UK but not part of the UK while Jamaica became independent so Jamaica became independent in 1962 so I mean some part of history which is very important for us to learn number two Cayman was first sighted by Christopher Columbus in 19, in 1503. He named the three islands as Las Tucos after he sees the turtles of the sea. So the name Cayman is an Indian word means Carib. So Carib is a word that really came later after a local species known as what? Crocodile. So in other words, crocodile is what we call the Cayman, in other words. Number three, the three Cayman Islands, that is Grand Cayman, Cayman Brac, and Little Cayman, are located in the West Caribbean, about 150 miles south of Cuba. Georgetown, the capital, is on the western shores of the Grand, of the Grand Cayman. Number four, the Cayman Islands were birthplace of scuba diving and the popular persons and the popular persons was introduced in 1957. So the island is home of diver sites for people of all kind of skills level including both shallow shallow sites so the shallow sites are example of the stingray city and a deep dive such as Babylon number five the Cayman Islands have the dubious fauna of having experienced the most hurricane strike in the history. Due to the tropical locations of the highlands, more hurricane tropical systems have affected the Cayman Island. Simply means in the history of all the times, so the Cayman has experienced the hurricane and it's the most island that experienced this kind of manis. Number six. Grand Cayman is a fantastic place to do absolutely nothing. Simply means it's a place of the lazy. So alongside it, there are numerous hotels lying the sites in the white sand of the Seven Miles Beach. Five meters into walking through the beach, then you'll enter the lazy mode. So simply means it's a place whereby you can go and procrastinate the way you want. You know, it's a place whereby anytime you go you can decide and go and enjoy silly and the next minute you'll develop what you call the uh, thirst of holding a beverage and iced one onto your hand number seven and the last one the cayman islands have more registered business than people so the population therein is about 16,000, 56,000 people, I mean. And the government primary source of income is indirect taxation. Indirect taxation simply means this place, people are not taxed, direct tax. So there is no income tax, which means if you are working over there and your money, your money is your money, tax-free. 
Uh, there is no capital gains tax, which means there's no capital gain tax, which uh, the, the gross tax that you need to, to pay, there's nothing. And there is no corporation tax, the corporate tax that may be because of doing business. No, no, no. You are free to open business. The government only take indirect tax. Indirect tax, which means when you buy something, a good, there is this tax imposition. That's how the government gets their tax when it comes to Cayman country. Are you there? Simply means this is a place whereby billionaires go settle, enjoy themselves, because it's completely free. Are you there? So it is a rich place. And that one also answers this question when Dim Wango asked about that he, she cannot see people. Simply means people are very busy. And when they're busy, there is also times when they will come out to procrastinate, to crowd that place for that white, amiable, sandy beaches around there. And again, it is also a place where the rich and the billionaires come and settle. And also another fact is like, at one point, the Caseman Island was once within the territorial of Jamaica. So that's why you'll find the Jamaican people living over there. That's why you'll find an uh, accent. Are you there? So that is the main reasons why you'll find such kind of things happening. The reasons you find all, all kind of Jamaica. They sp the people also in Cayman, they speak uh, uh, Patua. And that, again, must not be lost on us. So, as you can see through the picture, the places, these places are good. It offers scenery. And Cayman's island is a small island that barely you can walk and you find yourself into the sea. Because it's surrounded by water bodies. An island is a place where we're surrounded by almost 80% of water bodies. And it's waterlocked. Are you there? So it offers you a scenery and a scenic view that is so enthralling and breathtaking. So going forward, I think we'll expect more from Dimwango as she continues staying over there and give us the vlog that is so epic. I wish they were together with Sean Arwa. I think the best that we could be treated to were just positive vibes, were just an enthralling kind of vlogs going forward. <coughs> Enjoy the rest of the vlog.